my name is Rod Kuratomi. I'm an instructor with the International Karate Association, training under Grandmaster Takayuki Kubota. I've been with him for over 20 years and currently rank as a Godan or fifth degree in Gosokuru. I am also currently the champion in heavyweight kumite and a weapons kata. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of our techniques, specifically techniques I use in tournament competition. Uh, my emphasis in my techniques is simplicity and mastering the kihon or the basic movements associated with the technique. My feeling being that by perfecting the technique, you're able to deliver the technique effectively, even if your opponent's able to uh, anticipate the movement because you master the timing and the movement. Today helping me is my associate, Armin Asatorian, who's a shodan with the International Karate Association as well. Okay, the first technique I'm going to show you is a technique that's little used in tournament competition but I find very effective, and that's the oizuki, or stepping forward lunge punch to the stomach. Okay, when delivering the oizuki, your first most consideration is your distance to your opponent, whether you're able to reach your opponent or not. So it's important that you're within a distance that's not too far to be able to deliver the, the technique, but not so close that your technique is not able to be fully extended out at the extension of your stance. Okay, your ideal foot position is not too deep a stance, otherwise it takes too much time for you to set your center of gravity forward in order to take the full step to deliver the oizuki. Ideal position should be about halfway between full standing and a full Zenkutsudachi front stance. This allows you the mobility to get your footwork in close to your opponent as quickly as possible. If you're distancing as such, and you're, some of your opponents will not allow you to get to the proper distance that you want, so you have to adjust your step accordingly to be able to deliver your technique. If your opponent is a far distance away, you're going to drive forward as hard as you can, take a full step forward in, full retraction on the hand to deliver the kime. If your opponent is a little bit closer and staying in tight, you can go ahead and bring your front leg, pull it halfway back in, and step forward all the way. This allows you to deliver the technique quickly and still maintain the distance between you and your opponent. With this technique, the next thing besides your fast footwork is where you position your body's balance over your hips. With this technique, I tend to put my body weight and shoulders just over the front of the hip area. So my center of gravity is actually a little bit forward. This allows your body weight to be moving with you with the technique, with letting gravity pull you forward without having to muscle your full body weight forward as you would if you were in a seated, seated rooted stance. So by going upright, quick footstep, delivering the technique and recovery. We're going to use the lead hand for two points. We're going to use it to cover our face. And we're also going to use it to set up the position and the opening on the, on the opponent. So from here, the lead hand also can be used to sweep across the hand to open up the chudan area and deliver the punch to the midsection and retraction. Same time covering face with your lead hand. Okay, here's an example of a full step forward. Yeah. Okay, if you're a little bit closer, this is an example of half step back. Yeah. technique I'm going to show you is oizuki, stepping forward, followed up by a block, and then a reverse punch. The idea of this technique is what I call the broken rhythm technique, in which case I start off slow to draw the opponent into a counterattack and then immediately follow up with a quick, sharp reverse punch counterattack. By changing the rhythm of the technique, it enables you to create openings on your opponent that you're able to score with. So, slowly, first technique comes in, I come in slow, creating the opening, I'm going to Drop my weight down, block, and follow up with the reverse punch right over the top. The idea is to make your first technique slow and deliberate, show the opening, expect the attack to come in, and just drop your weight down, and come over the top with the counterattack to the face. 
Okay, we'll do it a few times fast. This time we're going to show a technique using the offensive driving force to move the center balance and break the balance of the opponent moving backward, putting them in the proper distance to deliver a mashigeti to the head. If for whatever reason they don't move back, we're going to follow up with the reverse clench right to the stomach. So the idea here is to put as much pressure on your opponent coming forward as possible. I'm going to start coming in with a reverse punch, and the movement of the reverse punch is going to continue as I continue my step. So the movement of the punch looks like it's continuing to move forward to the opponent. Follow through by a punch to the face, mashigeti to the side of the head, which will be your scoring point if for whatever reason the distance is not correct for the kick, either too close or too far. Follow up with a reverse punch to the stomach. Again, delivery, punch, punch, mashigeti, reverse punch, recovery. Okay, going fast. Oh, 